Guys, there's just no way around it. C5 Corvettes front end scrape when driving. Oh! Due to the way the C5 Corvette's cooling system was designed, there's pretty much no way to completely eliminate the scraping, but there are three things you can do that will drastically reduce the amount of times you'll have to hear it scrape every time you take the C5 Corvette out for a spin. We'll talk about all things scraping, what you can do to minimize it, and a whole lot more next. Toys life. First off, understand that a little bit of scraping while driving the C5 is completely normal and should not be a major cause for concern. To understand why the C5 even scrapes in the first place, let's take a little bit of a closer look at exactly how the C5 cooling system is designed to work. When driving any vehicle, air needs to be forced through the radiator in order to dissipate heat. The way the C5's cooling system works, it's designed to pick up air from just below the front fascia all the way down to the road. At highway speeds, there's quite a bit of airflow that flows right underneath the front of the car and all the way through to the back. And that's exactly the path the air would like to take. So engineers have installed an air dam that goes completely across the front of the C5. That creates a high pressure area and forces quite a bit of that air to go up and through the radiator, dissipating that heat. So because the C5 Corvette is a bottom feeder and it draws all of that cooling air in from underneath, that gives us the sleek and beautiful design that we all love about the C5. But there are a couple of downsides as well. First, because it's picking up all of its intake air from down low on the road, it's susceptible to picking up leaves, dirt, bugs, and things of like that, which can clog the radiator over just a few years of time. I'll include a link in your upper left-hand corner that goes through the process on how you can clean that out and restore the car's cooling efficiency. And second, because that air dam is just inches off the ground, that's what causes it to scrape, and to new C5 Corvette owners, that can be alarming. And to seasoned veterans, if it scrapes too often, it can just be annoying. Now maybe your C5 is recently new to you, or you've recently lowered it to get rid of a little bit of that gap between the tire and the fender, and it's scraping more times than you'd like. It's even scraping as you pull into the driveway, embarrassing you in front of your neighbor that drives the smart car, or that new girl you're dating. Dude, it's so freaking fast. Like, my brain still feels scrambled. When you take her out on date night and everywhere you go, it's scrape, 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 and she thinks your C5 is falling apart. Whatever the case, it's time to give your C5's front air dam a little bit of a tune-up. Now through the years, your C5's front air dam has likely seen some pretty serious abuse. There's really no telling what sorts of road debris that air dam has run into at speed, causing it to rip, causing it to bend, causing it to tear or whatnot, which ultimately may cause certain parts of it to hang down much lower and closer to the road than others. So for the first part of our air dam tune-up, you want to park your C5 on a level spot, just like this. Next, grab a couple of 2x4s or 2x6s, whatever you have laying around, and slide it underneath the front of your C5, like so. Next, grab another piece of 2x4 or 2x6, hopefully around 4 feet long, and slide it right up next to the air dam. You've effectively made a straight edge, and what we're looking for here is just to see if any part of the air dam is hanging materially lower than the other parts. If you do have an area that needs some trimming, let's pull this board out of the way. We'll clean the area with some solvent. Then I'll put the wood next to it again, and with a Sharpie, I'll mark the line for the material that I want to remove. Then just pull the wood away, and what's left behind is a nice straight line that you can use as a guide for making your cuts. For making those cuts, I'm gonna use just a regular sheet metal snips and as you'll see here, they just cut through this air dam like butter. And when you're done, if you want to smooth the bottom a little bit, you can just use some 36 grit sandpaper and that'll have it looking like new. Also, if your air dam has got some kind of permanent bends in it, try heating it with a heat gun a little bit and then duct taping it in place while it cools. And a lot of times that'll get it right back in shape. 
Now I've just removed a little sliver here and sometimes just a quarter inch removed makes a big difference in the amount of scrapes you hear every time you take the C5 out for a spin. Oh, and if your C5's front air dam is in such bad shape that it looks horrible or you know it's just not going to function properly, don't worry because you can get a new three-piece kit and it's just over a hundred bucks. The best part is you can install it yourself pretty easily, probably in about an hour. And I'll be sure to include a link in the description below so you don't have to spend any time searching for it. So once you've completed your C5's front air dam tune-up, go ahead and drive your C5 like you normally would for a few days and just listen to see if you notice a difference in how often you hear the scraping sound. If it's still excessive, we're gonna take a look at the C5 from the side profile. We'll be looking at the ride height in the front and in the back and see if you wanna make some additional adjustments to further reduce scraping. First, I'm gonna just look at it from the side. Does the ride height appear to be equal from front to back or is there a slight rake with the back sitting slightly higher than the front? Most likely it's gonna to be too hard to tell by just looking at it, so let's measure it. Starting in the rear of the rocker, where the hole is in the frame, let's measure from the frame down to the floor and write down the number. Next, we'll move towards the front of the rocker and where the hole for that jacking puck is in the frame, we'll measure that from the ground as well. And then we'll just go ahead and simply subtract the front number from the rear, and you should get about 3 16 of an inch, plus or minus just a smidge. If you have much more than this 3 16 of an inch of clearance, you're gonna wanna raise the front end just a little bit, or you could lower the rear to get a little bit closer to the desired rake. And of course, doing this will also give you a little bit more clearance between your front air dam and the road. If yours is much less than this, or God forbid your front end's actually sitting a teeny bit higher than the rear, you're gonna wanna lower the front or raise the rear. Otherwise, you're gonna risk having that front end become light at high speeds, and it could be disastrous. Now, I believe that my C5 is just a teeny bit lower than stock, so if your measured distances are much lower than mine, then likely one of your previous owners has lowered your C5 already. And if it's scraping more than you'd like after you've already tuned up your front air dam and you've got the rake adjusted properly, you probably just want to raise the whole car by about a quarter of an inch to see if that brings the scraping level to within your tolerance. Now I'm not going to go into a step-by-step -step as to how to raise or lower your C5 in this video. It's been done by plenty of YouTubers in the past and they've done a pretty good job. So I'm just going to include a link in your upper right hand corner in case you want to check out how to go about doing that. The last tip of course comes down to simply avoiding steep angles with your C5. You can see if we approach this driveway incline head on we're going to get a serious scrape. But if we simply adjust our angle of approach, we can effectively cut the incline in half and eliminate the scrape. Simple, but very effective. Plus, you look cool when you're weaving around things in your Corvette. That's it for this one, guys. So hit that like button and subscribe. Then head out to your garage and give your C5's front air dam a little trim. Now, let's jump this supercar.